uh, Dead Toronto and the waves are pretty choppy. The um, boats performed, I'd say, pretty good, except for the weeds. The weeds have been just terrible in the river. It is really bad. I'd have to stop and uh, throw her in reverse to get rid of the weeds off the torpedo motor. Anyways, this is a uh, good choppy weather for uh, testing how the boat performs. Going upstream on the Napanee River. Uh, wind is behind me. And we'll call it 10 kilometers an hour wind today. Um, performance is pretty good. 10.6 kilometers per hour and uh, it's just over 1700 watts being drawn. I'm now cruising at uh, 9.4 kilometers an hour and drawing just over 1500 watts of power. So that's, uh, that's pretty decent. Uh, the boat performance is uh, behaving quite nicely today. I'm not having the weed problem I, I had the other day. A few weeds, but uh, I made an adjustment to the motor. A little bit more spacing between the motor shaft and the uh, fairing, and that seems to help. Um, maybe it's just reducing the vibration because the shaft was hitting the, uh, the fairing a little bit. Just taking it for a test drive for an hour down the river, and I think I just picked up some weeds. Some the performance just dropped dramatically. Then I get around this corner, and then I'll have to deal with it. I cleared the weeds. A few of them on there, not too badly. Um, and I have the wind behind me now. 10, point, 10 kilometers an hour, 1600 watts. That's uh, that's pretty good. Um, anyways, uh, a little tour around. Take it down the river a little bit. And turn it around. Oh, I'm in a weed bed. Oh. Water drove over 800 watts power for 12.09, so that's about right. That's the Deserado Bridge that I just went under. It's under construction. I'm trying to shield the uh, microphone from the wind here. Uh, we seem to be going along okay. We're doing 8.9 kilometers per hour drawing 1700 watts so I had planned on uh, a budget of 1600 watts at nine kilometers an hour um, so I'm going a little over that budget my prediction is by the time we get to where I want to go at Sandy Cove uh, I should be down to about 80% uh, state of charge. So we'll see if that happens. I'm producing about 850 watts of power right now, which is pretty pretty decent.
So getting ready to uh, depart uh, Sandy Cove in Belleville and uh, I've been sitting here for two and a half hours uh, enjoying uh, the company of my friends and um, the uh, charge of the batteries have gone from 77% to 87% state of charge uh, just in that time frame so it's uh, been going good. across Big Bay. Uh, of course now the wind is uh, pretty much behind me at my corner and I'm going along at 10.3 uh, kilometers an hour drawing 1700 watts. And it's getting late. It's almost five o'clock and I've got long ways to go. I'm going to go all the way to, uh, the plan is to go past Desron and go all the way to Napanee. So that's probably going to put me there at about uh, 8 o'clock at night. So, good test for the day. Coming across Big Bay here, I'm, it, it's been incredible. The rollers and that, uh, I'm just surfing on these rollers. So it's a little bit hard to steer in that, but uh, uh, quite interesting to uh, be doing that. Uh, I'm making good time, doing 10 kilometers an hour. Of course, it's getting uh, Getting on, it's 5.30 now, so it's going to be a late night. Well, I made it to the uh, Deserondo Bridge. Uh, a huge tugboat just passed me. It is from uh, Charlottetown PEI, so I'm not sure what it's doing way. <laughs> Way here, over here. Well, it is almost eight o'clock, with three minutes to eight, and I'm about one kilometer from home. Uh, the battery bank is at 50% 50 50 state of charge and we've gone a total of 55 kilometers today. So, uh, good day's testing. Um, some really good rough conditions uh, going across um, Big Bay. So, <clears throat> good to test the stability of the boat. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and uh, the, a nice day a little bit hazy so I didn't get the solar performance that um, you would on a, on a clearer day uh, even though it looked nice and bright and sunny I've seen this before uh, with a bit of haze and uh, it just kills the uh, solar performance so I was getting uh, probably average about um, oh I was getting up around 830 watts production at around one o'clock, two o'clock. I'm getting nothing now. Anyways, it was a good day.